Hello. <laughs> okay, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, how are you? Mm, I'm always happy. Okay, very good. Still always happy. Okay, so for tonight, we will have like this subordinating conjunctions, only four. There's a lot, but we will have only the four um, subordinating conjunction and then another lesson, okay? Yeah. Okay, so it's here. Today, we are going to practice using subordinating conjunctions, which is very common to you, I guess. So what are the four subordinating conjunctions? Mm -hmm. When, if, that, because. Okay, and because. Okay, we will use this to add extra information to a sentence, or when will we use this one? What do you think? To add extra information? Yeah, aside from that. That's correct. Do you have idea? Like, when will we use the subordinating conjunctions? Yeah, because it's very common. Also, if mm -hmm. the four of them to... has okay. common, yeah, okay, common like usage, but I... just a little different. To connect two single sentence by one. To connect a single sentence? Mm -hmm. Well, you use, or for example, you will um, put an additional information, right? So you will use because, when, if, and that for, for what information? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we want to see something like what? Um, no, no, no idea. I don't know. Do you like when we give a reason, right? It's especially because mostly the four of them are like giving reasons or like condition. Okay. So that's when we use this, like usually because, when, if, and that. Okay. Can you read the four example sentences? Okay. Mm -hmm. The aeroplane mm -hmm. disappeared when it flew behind a cloud. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then number two, I would come, I would come to your party if I didn't have other plans. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob was so happy that he jumped for joy. We all went to the dining hall because we all were hungry. Okay, so all of the examples, one, two, three, four. Okay, so in number one, the airplane. Airplane is just another term, but that's airplane, okay? Just the same. Um, Disappeared when it flew behind a cloud. So the, the, the use of that one is still like you're giving like reason, okay? And mostly when, what do you, what do you know when we use when? It's used for what? Especially WH question. We will use when for? Time. Yes. Okay. So we will use that for time. We, it, in this sentence, it's not very, you know, you can tell that there's a time thing. But the airplane disappeared when it flew behind the cloud. So you can still, if you really understand the sentence, you will know that it's about time. Okay? And the number two, okay. if. How about that one? When do you think? For that sentence, I would come to your party if I didn't have other plans. Maybe, yeah. Let's see if you can explain a little. Mm. 
Yeah, you're good in making sentences though. But let's see if you can explain. I know, but I don't know how to explain. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's okay. I would come to your party if I didn't have other plans. So if we will use that if there's a condition or like there's another thing that we're supposed to do, right? If condition. Um I don't know what other words that I could give for condition so you would understand. But there is like um like a another situation. Okay? If but I think you know how to use it too. So I guess it, it would be easy for you. Okay? And then three and four, again, both of them or mostly of them, you're just giving reasons. Okay? So I think you can okay. use those um, um, support, oh wait, oh, subordinating conjunctions easily. Okay, wait a minute. I click. Okay, so here, okay, I would skip that part. I'll skip. Let's go to, okay, this is another example. It's, it's already underlined. Can you read? Let's see to make it more okay. clear. Okay. Yeah. Alice is happy that she is going on holiday. Mm -hmm. I clean my teeth because it will spend time. My mom said I could go to the park if I tidy my room. Mm -hmm. I am going to start dance classes when I'm seven. Okay. So it's very easy, right? So when, for this mm -hmm. sentence in last one, it's very obvious that it's about like a time, right? There's like a, yeah. like a duration, there's a time. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's more common. And then, yeah, because it's very easy for you. And if there's a condition again, if I tidied up my room, and that is also giving another reason or sometimes condition. It depends on the sentence. Okay, let's try. Uh, maybe there's... Okay, you try here. And then I will let you make your own sentences, okay? Okay. okay. You try. One. Um, okay, it, it's there's no repetition, okay? Just one for each <laughs> blank. Okay. I'm okay. going to Harry House. Um, if I finish on time. Okay, so your first answer is if. Because there will be answer next. So if and then. Mm, it was so cold. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Because was the so lake has frozen. Okay, the lake has frozen. Wait, let me write your answers. Because... Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a little. Okay, if. And then because, right? Yeah. Okay, continue. My sister will go to secondary school when she is 11. Okay, very good. That's obvious. And then the last bus, e. um the bus was late that of the busy traffic. Okay. So your answer was a that. So are you sure with all your answers? Mm, yes, but um <laughs> about but, the last one second and the fourth question. Okay. I think I need to flop the answer. Okay, so so your second would be that, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And then last would be. Because. Because. That's right. Okay. So if that when and because. See. Okay. First answer is if and that is correct. Very good. And then second one, good thing you changed. The answer is that. Okay, very good for that. And then three is correct. That's so obvious as well. There's a time duration in that sentence. So that's correct. And then lastly, because. Okay, I noticed that when you read at the here, it sounds, how did you, um, what do you call this? What makes you change your answer in the last um, sentence? What makes you change your mind? Because it is more wow. suitable. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And also it sounds off when you read it, right? It sounds off. The boss was late that of the busy traffic. It doesn't sound good. So it's not correct. Okay, very good. Now next is, wait, wait, I want you to make your own sentence using those four coordinating conjunctions, I mean, um, subordinating conjunctions. Can you do it? Oh, wait, it's wait. Coordinating conjunction. Okay. Okay, you can put your answers in there. So first, up to you, whatever you want to make first. But you have to make like for if, when, and then what because and that. Okay. okay. And can you type if it's okay? Okay. We make questions. Not the question. Um. Just a sentence, just declarative sentence, not question sentence. Okay. okay. Hmm. I I will start with if. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, okay, you can read if you want, and then for the next sentence. Or you want to write everything first? That's okay for me. Mm, I would am all writing first. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
Oke. Okay. Okay, so far you have if and when. Okay. So so good. Continue. Okay. Okay, very good. Last one. Mm -hmm. The last one is that. Yeah. I think you, yeah, I think you can use that. I think yeah, you you did before. Okay. Okay, very good. Can you please read all of the sentences that you have um made first? Okay. I can play video games if I finish my homework. Okay, very good. There's a condition. You can only play games if you finish your homework. Correct. That's good. Continue. Uh, I played basketball when I was into in second grade. Okay. In that part, there's like a time. Okay. So very good. You will use when. And then third. My family has a party because today is my sister's birthday. Yeah, family has a party because... Okay, that's correct. Reason. And then lastly... My dad is a kind of person that is very cheerful. Okay, let me read again. Okay, my dad is a kind of person that, okay, I'll accept it. So you're, you're also giving like a, a reason for that. So it would be okay for that sentence. Okay, so, so far so good. I think you can use if, when, because, and that. And I think they are also common, right? So it's not really hard for you to use them. Okay, so good job. Now let's have, it's just a quick one. And the next time we will do another subordinating conjunctions. 
So far, let's start with the easy ones. Okay, so let's move on. Wait a minute. Okay. So we still have time. Okay, and then another grammar practice. Aside from... Okay, this is from... We had, I think, last year. I'm not sure. We had adverbs. We compared adverbs and adjectives. I don't know if you remember, but can you tell me if what is the difference between an adverb and an adjective? If not, it's okay, but you can try. Adverb and adjective. Um, adverbs are words that describe are modify verbs adverbs answer the question how when or where okay mm -hmm. so that is an adverb. adjective mm -hmm. yeah the adjective, an adjective is uh also the word to describe yeah it's also and, to describe uh, but what's the difference it Hmm. They have similarities. They are both describing or modifying a word. In adverb, it's modifying and describing a verb. So how about an adjective? Uh, it's also describing your right. I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay. So you're, but you are right. You said it's also for describing. It's a word to describe, but not for a verb. It's not modifying a verb. It's not describing a verb, but instead it's describing a noun or a pronoun. Okay. It's not describing or modifying a verb. Okay. So that's the difference. Adverb and adjective are both describing words or like a modifier. The difference is for adverb, it is modifying or describing a verb, an action word. And adjective is describing a noun or a pronoun or modifying noun or a pronoun. Okay? Okay. Okay. And there are many, and also there are many kinds of adverb. I don't know if you remember. But yeah. Can you please read first the four, I mean the three examples of sentences in adverbs <clears throat> okay <clears throat> jamie plays skillfully mm -hmm. jamie plays outside jamie okay. plays often okay often so it's answering the first one is how for outside it's where and then often is when okay so you will know that, oh, it's an adverb. It's answering the question, how? For example, how did Jamie play skillfully? So when did Jamie play? Oh, uh, Jamie. Uh, yeah, Jamie play often. So where did Jamie play? Outside, right? So you will know if you just know also how to make the question. Okay, so that is not, I mean, what word is being modified? Or being described? What word? Skillfully? Often? No, no, no. It, it, no. In those three sentences, word was being described or modified. In those three hmm. sentences. What is the word? It's an adverb. So it's modifying a what? Verb. It's a verb. What verb? is the verb? That's right. What is the verb in that sentence? Place. That's correct. Okay. So all of those three sentences are describing and modifying the word place because they have the same verbs. A verb, which is place. Okay. And also, okay. let's have here, but it's um, for when is often, there's later, there's next, like, time, okay? For how, like, how they did do it, 
like maybe skillfully, like gracefully, um, what quickly, and others, usually with L-Y, okay? And then for where, that's very yeah. easy, outside, inside, on the top, and others. So here, let's try to identify here, A. In the space provided, write the adverb in each sentence. Okay, let's not follow the instruction. Just tell me what is the adverb in the in in these five sentences, and tell me what is the word being modified. Understand? Tell me the adverb, and also the word that is being modified. Understand? Okay. Okay. Number one, please read. Um, our teacher always wins. Okay. Where's okay. the adverb? Mm, wins. Adverb. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, that's just a four I think words. It wins. wins? Yeah. Okay. So if your answer is wins, is it answer okay here? Is it answering? Oh, you try to make a question that would answer either how, when, or where. Let's see. You have to prove. To me that it's an adverb by making a question either how when or where if it fits then okay because it's almost time if you can make a sentence then always okay. wins you mean that <laughs> always wins just one hmm. only one so you always? Told, okay, always, and then what's the question or what's the word being modified? Uh, that, when you mean it's answering the question when, right? Okay, yeah, and but what is the word being modified? What does an adverb modify again? It's modifying when, not the when. It's modifying. What is the adverb Always. modifying? Always. Okay. Okay, for number one, or I'll give you the answer. Always is correct. Always is the adverb. Okay? And then it's modifying or describing the word wins. Okay? Yeah. The wins there is the verb. Okay, it's the uh -huh. verb in that sentence. So, for example, um, when did our teacher or yeah, wins always he, he or she always wins? Okay, so that's yeah. how you do it. I will let you do it again for the other numbers. Okay, we will continue for this lesson. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.